About the project murder or justice I literally been interested in this project for a long time and it was inspired by um, doing some research I was looking at some photos of my mom and I noticed that in the photos she were she was experiencing a sad look on her face so I wanted to develop a piece and homage to her and that's where the concept originally and spot was inspired by she was in a domestic violence situation. And then I was um, talking to a public defender and the public defender was talking about how battered women who retaliate against their abusers face harsher punishments. And I was like, oh really? And so I was doing more and more research on this project and I came across a website that was called the Purple Beret. And they also examined this issue about the battered women's defense and they're coming to their aid. And a lot of them are, were in abusive relationships with men of law enforcement. So I was very fortunate, very fortunate to have this cast and crew. Everybody was passionate about the project, coming from some kind of um, background with law. Uh, Dina, she was a lawyer. She studied as a lawyer. She told me some interesting stories about being a powerful woman in position and just, you know, everybody reaches their vulnerable ability and their vulnerable points. Marcia's energy, when she came with Crystal, she brought such a stillness, such a heaviness and everybody said that was just perfect casting. I mean, you knew she was carrying the weight of the world. She didn't say much, but her look, she brought such intensity and that's what we needed. I was thankful for Brian who played her husband. Very nice guy, very nice guy. But he was able to show some force, some brute force that we needed for the abusive husband. Uh, and I was thankful for the little girl. Her, she was just beautiful. Her name was Sadia. And that's actually Tanya's daughter, the one that played Tony. So, uh, she just brought such truth in her eyes. I mean, I felt the fear, I felt the, the concern as she was watching what was happening. And again, Christina, she was the counselor and the facilitator in the women's center. And she just brought this stillness, this experience, a woman who's been through it and know what it's like on the other side. And that motivation, that stillness is what really helped move the story along. I just wanna say this project is ready to go and I just wanna thank everybody that was involved. I mean, we had great locations, the coffee shop, Jones Coffee Roasters, great location here in Pasadena. That This is the first of many. So if you're interested in hearing more stories and seeing more stories of relevancy about strong women of various backgrounds, please, please lend your support to us. We're doing the work. We're doing the work in the community. And we're bringing the stories from the streets 
to the stage, off the page, and onto your screen. Thank you. What would you do? Please help me see what you would be if you were me and I was you for a day. Just help me see. Help me see. Help me see. Help me see what you would be Just the character in you How would you be if you dealt with all the things that are a part of me